Hi all, I'm Dan Smankrod, founder of the We Get Around Network Forum. Today is Thursday, July 8th, 2021, and you're watching WGAN-TV Live at 5. We have an awesome show for you today, how RKO photography grew to seven Matterport Pro cameras and one Leica BLK360 camera. And here to talk to us about that, the two founders, Roger Owens and his wife, Kay Owens. Hey, Roger. Hey, Kay. Good to see you. Hi. Hi, Dan. Hi, Dan. Uh, Roger is the president, Kay is the vice president, uh, RKO Photography. They're based in Greater Birmingham, Alabama. Uh, and um, uh, seven Matterport cameras. Wow, how did that happen, Roger? Well, we actually grew uh, as far as not only in need, but it, we grew team-wise. We added people, and we wanted to make sure that as people went out, if they needed one, they had their own uh, to use. So there's five of us, basically, and each one of us has one. Plus, we have a couple of spares in case we have a problem. Awesome. So let's let's talk a little bit about today, and then we'll kind of go back in time. I, I know this is going to be an awesome show for Matterport service providers in particular that want to succeed faster, and I think even real estate uh, real estate photographers in general. Uh, help us understand RKO photography today. Um, kinds of kinds of shoots that you do, kinds of services that you offer? We offer basically everything that you can do for a house. We do, obviously, photography, which we started doing. Uh, we do videos. We do drone. We do drone video. We do Matterport. Uh, just about anything they would need. And the reason for that is so that they don't call somebody else because once they call somebody else, they may not call you again. So we wanna make sure that we not only offer it, but offer a good price. So I'm hearing real estate photography, um, but looking at your website, rko.photography, I see a lot of other services that are unrelated to real estate photography. Do you still offer those services? Uh, for the most part, yes. So could you give us uh, maybe the, 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 the top services outside of, of uh, real estate photography that you're offering? We do Matterport. We do a lot of Matterport. Uh, and we do a lot of what we call teasers, which are short videos, which I'm sure you're familiar with, showing the highlights of a property. Uh, those, and we use handheld video cameras plus uh, drone video for the exteriors. And those are the two most popular things that we actually do. Mm -hmm. uh, is the, the drone video and the short videos. Right. Typically of residential real estate. Absolutely. Yes, sir. Okay. <laughs> we, we have grown into a lot of commercial property. Uh, t t tell me more about that. We, we actually um, got into it uh, through actually WGAN uh, for the most part. It's been because of the wonderful job that you do in, in attracting people that we were able to, to hook up with a couple of clients that started using us. And we went from doing small locations, fast food restaurants, to properties that were in the hundreds of thousands of square feet each. Uh, including banks and big box stores and just just all kinds of stuff. So, and that's been very lucrative. Um, without necessarily mentioning specific clients, uh, could you talk a little bit more about categories of clients, the kind of verticals uh, sure. that you're working on in the commercial space? Right. We do, as I said, we do a, a lot of different fast food restaurants, uh, probably as many as four or five different ones. Uh, and we'll get orders for maybe five to 10 of those at a time in a particular area. We do uh, ladies' um, uh, clothing stores. We do, um, as I said, big box stores. We do apartment complexes. We do, um, uh, we've done a couple of large banks, uh, 100 plus thousand square foot banks, 10, 12 stories um, in different states. 
uh, and just random of uh, different other types of, of individual businesses. Mm-hmm. You, you mentioned other states, um, but I introduced you as servicing the greater Birmingham area. What, what is the coverage area for RKO photography? We just got back from Ohio, Indiana, Illinois, uh, Arkansas, Missouri, uh, doing Tennessee. Tennessee. Well, Tennessee is just above us, but uh, uh, and we go to Louisiana. We have an office now in Tulsa to help us handle some of those states that are more difficult for us to get to uh, and offer services uh, quicker. Mm-hmm. And uh, uh, you. Uh, you have a Leica BLK 360. Uh, what what do you use that for? We use it for the larger properties and for customers who require a Leica instead of a Matterport. Uh, that was an opportunity that was presented to us. And we decided to go ahead and buy a camera before we actually had a job. And it turned out to be wonderful. It has been really a, a big boon because I think the Leica is coming on strong and you're going to see it used a lot more in the next year or two. And um, is, is, are you using the Leica BLK360 paired with the Matterport Capture app or are you doing Leica BLK360 with its own set of scanning? Okay, we'll address that. Go ahead. I use the Field 360 app that comes with the Leica because the clients that we have have used that so far need a different file format than what Matterport produces. So if they need their own set of plans and drawings, they need a different file structure in order to bring that into a drawing or CAD program. So... Uh, so you're capable of using the BLK360 paired with the Matterport Capture app, but at this point, you're presently really, it's a standalone scanning to capture uh, uh, CAD files for clients. Yeah. Yes. That's correct. We've done about 15 projects so far. Some of those projects now, the client has requested a Matterport as well as the BLK360 file. I'm not sure exactly how they're utilizing those, but we, we provide both for the same property. Uh, interesting. So does that mean you're scanning it twice? Once with Matt, once with Matterport, a Matterport Pro 2 3D camera, and then once with the Leica BLK360? Yes. That's correct. Okay. So uh, Leica BLK360 scanner camera, uh, I want to say around $19,000 plus software plus plus. Uh, uh, how is it that you ended up buying one of those without having a project, a client lined up? Well, it's, it's like anything else. We just saw an opportunity and we thought that it was going to be something that was going to happen. And it was basically a flyer more than anything else. Mm -hmm. And it worked out very well and it's going to continue to work well for us. Mm -hmm. It was that, uh, I, you know, later in the show, I'd like to ask you about husband and wife running a business together, but I, I just imagine there was some discussion, both professionally and personally, about buying $19,000 or more uh, without actually having a client. Kay, you're smiling. Why is that? You weren't smiling at the time, I suspect. <laughs> That's exactly right. Uh- Roger has always had intuition about business and he is the business operator in our, in our business, in our marriage, because he, he just has that knowledge and know-how. It's like you said, you and your wife got along, worked well together because he had, you had expertise and she had expertise. And that's the same with, with us. And in the beginning years ago, we didn't always see eye to eye. But I have learned through the years that if he feels strongly about something, I I, I go with him because he's been right every time. Congratulations. And I I think even prepping for this show, I think what we heard, what I I heard from Roger was that you're actually thinking about buying yet a second BLK360. Is that something that might happen? We we, um, actually looked at one another about the same time and kind of 
at the same time said, you know, we need to get a second camera potentially. We have done a pilot program for a, a big box retailer. And if, if this thing happens, then they want to segment the scans. In other words, they want to take different parts of the store because it's so big and group them individually. And if we had two scanners, we obviously would get done a lot quicker. So it, they would more than pay for themselves with, with the potential that we have that's upcoming. So that's interesting because if you're using a Matterport Pro 2 3D camera, you can't use two cameras on the same project if you want to deliver it within one model. Um, but it sounds like with a BLK 360, uh, like a BLK 360, you can actually do that. Is that what I'm hearing? That is correct. Yes. You can actually create one model for multiple scans. So you, you could be on site uh, doing using a BLK 360 with multiple cameras if the perhaps the budget warranted it because you do have five team members uh, uh, at RKO Photography. That's correct. So let, let's go back in time a little bit. Um, when did you first hear about Matterport? Uh, March of 2016. And, and why did, is it that you remember that month? Because we bought a, a Pro One uh, and one of the first scans that Kay actually did for a lady, a realtor here in town, um, we uploaded on the internet because uh, we, we advertise what we do for our, for our realtor clients. We put it on Facebook and other places. And within three weeks, she sold a $400,000 house to a lady in Australia, sight unseen, just looking at the scan. Uh, when that happened, I knew that this was going to be bigger than we ever envisioned. Um, and that was within three weeks of buying the camera. Well, so we, did you have some where you were, you were, it wasn't what you were doing for a living. I presume at that time you were probably doing more event photography, wedding photography. Uh, we were actually doing real estate, just houses, uh, doing some small videos and, and photography. Mm -hmm. So, uh, yes. and, and, and back when you bought the camera, I want to say it was $4,500. It was, it, and it was a pro one versus a pro too. So it was that is correct. Yes. more than to today. Did you have any trepidation at the time? Were you thinking, will, will this actually, <laughs> okay. I see, I see you smiling. And again, it's, it, it sounds like you were the, the rational part of the, of the, uh, the business here saying, w w do you remember what you said to Roger before he like wrote the check or bought it? Uh, I'm not sure of exact words, but, um, we those had those words weren't that strong. It was when I bought the next two the next month and we had three of them. So she was, she was a little worried about it at that time. Let's say that. Okay. Were you a little bit worried about it at the time? There was a tad of skepticism. Yes, I will admit. So, so uh, somehow, some way, Roger, you heard about Matterport, you decided to buy a, a, a pro one camera the, the first house sell sight unseen, someone out of town, out of country. Uh, mm -hmm. I imagine that was like an, uh, was that an aha moment for you and even for your real estate client? It, yes, it was uh, uh, for it to sell, no, but for it to sell out of country it, with the lady looking at this, the, uh, the model, uh, the space from Australia. Yes, it was. And it was, it, it just made everybody feel really good uh, and real, real pleased to to have bought the first one. Mm -hmm. So why did you go buy two more Pro One cameras? You didn't have any more business, I imagine, at that point. Well, we were building it, but Kay decided she needed one. Is that <laughs> so Kay, or is that how Roger remembers things in hindsight? It it's probably close to true because it, truly he bought this camera and said here you you this is yours and you learn how to use it wait what so it, it was mine but he needed one so it was it was really his 
but he wanted me to do the learning curve. And so we did both need one and he has, at, that was 2016. So this last year he's used to learn how to use it. <laughs> Is that true, Roger? Absolutely. Yeah, all right. So, so you buy two more. So you spend at least $9,000 presumably at that time, plus probably tripods and cases and iPads. And so really, it's like yeah. buying, perhaps buying a goldfish or something. The, 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 the fish is not that expensive. <laughs> it's the tank and the, the gravel and the air pump and, and everything else. Uh, That's so you, so uh, quite an investment that you made without necessarily having business lined up. I could understand that maybe there was a camera Matterport for you and a camera, camera for Kay. Who is the third camera for? We actually um, uh, had a spare at that time until we had another team member that was going to come on shortly anyway. So, so we, we needed three. So is, is that a kind of a best practice, standard practice for you? you, you it's just the way you operate. You want to have a spare camera just in case something is... Uh... Yes. We have spare of everything. When we buy stuff, we buy spares for everything. Mm -hmm. When we go out of town, there's always a spare, everything in the car. Okay, that, so that's, that's cool. Um, and, and, and then what happened? Because you, you've gotten to seven, so uh, how, how did you get to seven? Well, the Pro 2s came out right after we bought the first three. So... And I don't know if you remember, but Matterport had a trade-in program. They gave mm -hmm. you $400 off on each Pro 2 if you swapped in your Pro 1. So we swapped for three Pro 2s. Uh, we got rid of all of them. And then as we added team members, we needed more cameras. And then obviously uh, Matterport runs specials from time to time. They dropped them down under 3000 and we bought some and, um, uh, so we now have two spares and we have five. Uh, and we, as I said, we have one sitting out in Tulsa, Oklahoma right now uh, with one of our team members and he handles territory out there. So is it five plus Tucson or is it actually, it's five in the greater Birmingham area plus Tucson? Six in the Birmingham grading area and one in Tulsa. So there's seven. So there's actually seven of you and there's no, seven matter. I'm sorry. There's five of us. Okay. We have three team members and Kay and I, and we have one person of the seven or of, of the five, excuse me, is in Tulsa. I got it. Okay. So uh, uh, quite an investment in technology. Uh, how did you go about developing business? We, we believe, and I think over the years, you and I have chatted more than just a few times, but we believe in relationships. Uh, I, to be honest, I'm not, I don't like to text. I don't like to email. I like to talk to people on the phone. I like to talk to people face to face. I just think that your personalities come through. I think that your, your intensity comes through, your drive comes through. And you can tell more about people that way. And that's, to me, the only way you can build a true relationship. And that's what we started doing. Uh, we built, what we did is we built a base of, of a bunch of, of different uh, people uh, and uh, clients. And then we started adding different um, uh, services to, so that if we went out, we could handle all the different things. And we were doing hundreds of houses a month properties. We were doing as many, we've done as many as 25 in one day. And what we started doing was as we were adding the services, we were scaling back on the number of properties. And today we do a hundred to 150 houses a month. And last month we did 49 commercial properties. And this month already we have 24 either done or scheduled. That's awesome. Congratulations. So it was a, just a process. Let's go to Hawaii. Okay. 
So, so you're you're sending us the tickets, right? <laughs> oh, I, I I I think I misunderstood. I thought that I thought you were what, the one who was having a really good month. Uh, so, uh, if you had twenty five houses in one day, um, I mm -hmm. could imagine operationally that that was almost killing you. Was it was. Just because the biggest thing is one of the things that we learned is you, you provide what they need. And the one thing that we provided that nobody else had ever done is if we shot your house today, you had your pictures tonight. So I would be going to bed at three and four in the morning, editing pictures all night. Uh, and it was about to kill me really. Uh, so we started backing off on that. We still provide the same service, but we're able to do it with less houses. Because more, so when you go on site, you're providing more services for that particular property. So m maybe when you started, it might have been photos and Matterport or photos, drone and Matterport. Yes. And yes. today, maybe it's single property websites been added and videos been added and yes, and some other services. Yes, sir. So I, um, I, you know, I, I could imagine that residential real estate is a challenging space that uh, uh, you're, you're dealing with people who own their own business, self-employed, every penny counts. Uh, I don't know if that's any different for commercial, but I, uh, tell me about the transition, because it sounds like you've made a, a good leap to move towards commercial real estate. Um. I was talking to, strange you should ask that, I was talking to one of our clients, uh, commercial clients, um, yesterday, and they were telling me about bringing on new photographers, new uh, into their space, and without exception, they all said, we want to do commercial, we do not want to do residential anymore, because there's so much to it, and there's so many headaches and things that go along with it. Whereas in commercial, it's not that you don't have problems, but you'll get a call, you'll get an address, you go out and shoot the property, you send them an invoice, uh, and that's it in a lot of cases. So in, in residential, it's not always that way. Uh, there's always a problem. You have, to, uh, you have to get to the site, and then the house is not ready. Or, and that then they never will... happens, Roger. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> You know what I'm talking about. So the commercial thing is just so much, uh, and, and obviously it's uh, it's more lucrative because the equipment you use, just like using a VOK, costs more, so people expect to pay more. So that's that's the good side of it. Mm -hmm. Kay, have you ever showed up on a job and the the house wasn't ready? That's not that's not true. That Roger <laughs> Roger said that that never happens to you. They, they schedule the housekeepers that day. They schedule the lawn crew that day. They, oh, the air conditioner went out and they schedule the HVAC people. Or, or it's hot because the HVAC is out. There's always a problem. Yeah, we went into a house the other day. It was 90 degrees. 90, wow. So if you had your choice, you'd much rather be doing a commercial space than residential. Uh, <clears throat> with exception. Without exception, we... We have, we have, uh, we have just like anything else, there's, there's great realtors and there's good realtors and, um, and, and we do have some really great realtors here uh, and we do appreciate the business they give us and we work hard for what we do um, and we've been successful at it. We have stayed very busy um, and not having uh, a franchise, one of these franchises that are out there that they actually do the editing for you and they do the videos for you. Or you do the Theta stuff and send it to them and they generate the, the walkthroughs. Um, but we, we have done very well and we do appreciate everything that everybody's helped us with. So operationally, you're doing everything in, in house, whether it's photo editing, photo image editing. Uh, video editing, uh, aerial, aerial yes. video editing, everything's in house that you deliver. Yes. Okay. So just kind of going back to commercial space. So I, I, I guess part of what I'm hearing is if you had a chance to do a hundred thousand square foot big box store, 
versus 25,000 square foot houses. I, I don't even know if you could do that, perhaps in Birmingham. Uh, we did a 24,000. We did a 24,000 here. Square foot house? Mm -hmm. Is that your house? <laughs> <laughs> No, have right. some place to put all those Matterport cameras. Yeah, yeah. Well, I, I really don't want one that big. That means we have to keep it up and have to fill it up. So, uh, no, but okay. yes. We so did it. if you were talking about, I'm trying to do the math here, just to say 40, 2,500 square foot houses or one 100,000 square foot big box store, it, it sounds like in a heartbeat, you would say, let's do the 100,000 square foot store. The, the, the client un understands at a higher level. I, I imagine just the conversation is different of a, a real estate agent that, that's got a $250,000 house for sale versus a commercial space where they, they need the CAD, they need the as built of the big box for whatever they're doing. And they're, they're, you're, you're, you're a little piece of of, of the of the cost of that project that they're working on. Yes, absolutely. Uh, and it, it is, it, it's, it's, uh, it's different. It's a, it's a different world. Um, and it's one that we embrace uh, and we plan on taking full of whatever opportunity we can with it, so. Why, why do you describe commercial space as a different world from residential space? Well, once again, you get an order from someone, uh, they notify them that you're going to be there, you show up, we're here to do this, okay, go ahead, uh, you do whatever job you need to do there, and you leave, and it's send an invoice. And they don't tell you how to do your job. Right. When you go to a residential property, the homeowner, the realtor, everyone wants to tell you how to Sometimes. do it. Sometimes. Many, often, yes. Mm -hmm. I bet you love shooting weddings. <laughs> we used to do weddings. Yeah. Long time. Long time. Before real yeah. estate. But then you have the bride and the groom and the mother-in-law. And, and the mother-in-law. Mother 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 Don't yes. forget the mother-in-law. <laughs> They're giving directions. So, uh, but but I digress. Um, so how did you make the, the transition? How did those first commercial spaces happen for you? We, um, we actually, um, I want to say that we contacted, I know we did, we contacted them from uh, a blurb that you had on one of your, one of your uh, uh, emails that you send out um, with contact information for one of these people and we called them and we got the job. It was actually in Memphis. Uh, uh, often. Is this a client you can talk about or no, no. Uh, yeah. Yeah. It's, 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 it's IFTI. I F T I. Okay. So it's if the provision solutions uh, yes. and uh, 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 which does a lot of Matterport uh, 3d tours and does BLK 360 tours. That is correct. So how did that, did that one client, if the provision solutions be, become a lot of business for you? Yes. And they're, they're very good at what they do. And uh, uh, they do things the right way, seriously. Um, and so uh, has the, has, so the, you, you did your first project with if the provision solutions then they invited you to do more. I'm imagining that you got to do a variety of different kinds of spaces. Yes. yes. And different use cases of the uh, scans that you were doing. Yes. Uh, and, and they were Matterport to begin with, obviously, that because the BLK, even though it's been around for years, really has just started to come into its own, mm -hmm. I think. So, uh, uh, in terms of use cases, whether it's if the provision solutions or other commercial spaces, let, let me see if I can identify some some uses and then tell me if I'm missing some. Uh, doing scans for as built. 
so yes. that an architect could renovate the space and begin the design process with a CAD file? Yes. Construction. Many. I'm sorry, I, forgive me, Roger, what you were saying? We've done, we've done more than just a few of those. Okay, as built. Um, construction documentation, maybe weekly or monthly construction documentation. Yes. So it's the same space over time so that perhaps the general contractor, <clears throat> the architect, the subcontractors can see the progress from, <clears throat> excuse me, from perhaps a BIM model or from week to week to week or month to month. And if they have a problem, then they have all of these things they can go back to and try to identify those before they close areas up, if they're open, uh, just general stuff like that. Yes. Yeah, uh, that which, as I understand it, on construction, uh, waste can be as high as 15%, if, if not more. So if you can catch those problems early through the construction documentation, that, that's what's happening there. Um, finished space, commercial space is turned over to a client. It's now pristine in a beautiful condition and it's now being used for marketing purposes. Yes, we have done hospitals, we have done... We did a floor of a hospital for a, co a construction company and they used that model. We went into every room, into every nook and cranny and they used that model for their subcontractors and say, this is the way this room is supposed to be and this is the room you will build it out, the way you will build it out. So that's how one way that they use that. And that was with the Matterport. With Matterport. And um, have there been other use cases that you're aware of? I, I could imagine you could go scan a space and actually not know what the intended use was, but where you did know. A, a lot of them are remodels. They're going to remodel spaces. National chains are right now in the middle of um, as we understand it, they have cash and they're going to start remodeling a lot of their older locations. And that's from every, every kind of story you can imagine. Uh, that's why there's so much business out there now, because there's a lot of remodeling about to happen, has been happening and is going to really get big next year. So if we take a particular verticals, such as a restaurant chain across yes. the country and mm -hmm. the headquarters might be in one city, but obviously all those franchise locations are located across the country, if not yet in other countries. And as I understand it, a refresh may be done every three years. And that is so correct. if you are a restaurant chain, and let's say just for the sake of simplicity, you have 6,000 locations, you may be doing a refresh of 2,000 of those stores every year so that 2,000 this year, 2,000 next year, 2,000 the following year, boom, we're back to the beginning of doing refreshes. So yes. I, I think what I'm hearing is you're picking up a lot of refresh of, of whether it's restaurant or different categories where the corporate office needs to get the as-built scan. That's true. Yes, exactly. We, we do, and there's several different vertical markets, the big box retailer, for example, that's the plan, except they're going to be on a, uh, one of them is going to be on more than just three years. It's going to be the word I heard was seven years, but there's going okay, to be so depending on the store. So maybe, maybe yes. coffee shops might be every three years, a big box might be every seven years. Uh, but there's some refresh schedule. And yes. I, I think part of what I'm hearing is you, you did some work for clients that might have been in your geographic area, but they liked you so much that they said, would you travel to go do either Matterport or BLK 360 scans or both uh, that took you on the road? Is that... That is exactly right. I had a conversation yesterday, as a matter of fact, with one of them, and they were asking if we could go to Denver and do some work. They like you enough to say, we'd rather travel you than hire somebody local 
if you're willing to do the travel. Well, it's specifically centered around the BLK. And there's just people don't understand that the BLK, there's only and I'm going to say a handful, but it's more than that. Uh, but there's a very low number of people that own a BLK that are not construction people or architects or engineers. The firms have them. We are one of the few individuals that actually owns a BLK. Uh, I was told by Leica when we purchased our BLK, they only knew of two of us between North Carolina and Texas that had them. So they'd rather deal with us than have to hire an engineering firm, which is going to cost them a lot more money. And they have their own in-house engineering team that they're already paying. So why not, you know, save money and do it their way. I mean, do it so that they can actually generate the, the uh, product for the customer. Yeah. So here's a tip. I'll put it out there. I'd say, don't, don't hold me to account, but for our viewers, uh, you know, listening to, to Roger and Kay talk about the use cases and the use of a BLK 360, I would say because there aren't a lot of people that actually own, uh, or let's call it a Matterport service provider that right. don't own a BL, a Leica BLK 360, then this actually might be a good thing to go buy and uh, I would suggest probably calling IFTI Provision Solutions first and saying, hey, we have a BLK 360, we're located in this market, uh, or inversely, maybe even call IFTI Provision Solutions. Uh, just go to the We Get Around Network Forum, WGANforum.com. You'll, you'll see IFTI Provisions, one of our sponsors at the top there, and just have a conversation with them and say, hey, I'm, I'm just about to go write the check for BLK 360, just want to see if we can come to some deal on some business uh, in order to justify the purchase. And I, I, I think what I'm hearing is there's probably at the moment more demand for BLK 360 work for large big boxes than there are actually service providers that have this camera. That's true. A lot of people rent them. You can rent one, but the, the price, as you know, for renting a BLK is not cheap. Uh, and over time, you're going to be able to pay for it with big box stores pretty quick. Yeah. So th this is a good example that here you have a, a potential client considering having you drive quite. Is that a drive or a, f a flight? A drive? No, we drive. we drive. We have to carry so much equipment we drive. Yeah. Plus you have those two spares. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> and we unload every night and load. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. You're not leaving yeah. it in your car. Yes. So uh, I think that's probably a really good kind of tip that there's a demand and so much so that you're actually driving quite a distance in, in order to cover perhaps a market where they haven't been able to find a VLK 360 uh, service provider. Um, so when you ended up, since, since, since you mentioned IFTI Provision Solutions and you ended up doing quite a bit of business for them, which meant that you now had a lot of experience in different um, verticals. Yes. And use cases. Did, did that help you then get the next client because you had now had that experience? We actually, uh, at the same time, picked up adaptive but it wasn't because adaptive solutions because uh, pro uh, property solutions um, but that was more because they needed people in this area and we got hooked up with them uh, and they found out we travel and there are see the, the one thing that's missing in this country is there's not a lot there's some areas and you know this that they're just not enough either Matterport service providers or, or no BLK providers. Uh, we do a lot with Matterport capture team. We're on the capture team and we do a lot for Matterport also. So, uh, but if you're willing to travel uh, there will, and you do good work, you got to do good work, then you can, you can get all the business you want really. 
It is is adaptive. I don't remember. Is that is that one where uh, we get around network introduced you or helped facilitate, or that one came yes. in a different yes. direction? We get around has been one of the best things we ever did. Was getting hooked up with you, and if you remember, it was about two months after we bought our first Pro One. Uh, I saw it, and I said, "We got to we got to work with these guys because it's it's been great for us. Uh, we've watched a lot of the." The live at fives and uh i've gotten to be friends with kevin dole out in california who you know well uh and we talk all the time on the phone uh, just a great guy yeah and, the, the community thank you for your kind note uh kind words that it is nice the community because i don't think we've had a marriage yet but certainly a lot of us have, have met uh, a, a lot of new friends uh that share a, a common passion and interest and i you know, how great is that? That's, that's pretty cool. Uh, uh, I uh, thank you for actually being a, a, a member of the We Get Around Network community since May 2016, uh, going back quite some time. Um, so, and I want to say uh, uh, adaptive is probably um, coffee shops across the America the, that need refreshes, whatever category you're working on, is it's another one of these things where a major chain needs to have a ton of as builds done all across the country and you're part of that, that essential team. Yes, that is true. Okay, awesome. Uh, and Matterport Capture Services uh, program, how has that worked out for you? Great. We, we have done a lot of stuff for them, too. We tra have traveled uh, all the way out to Tulsa, actually. A lot of the work that we get is all the way out there because there's a lack of people in the area. And um, uh, we've done, I think we have done, we figured somewhere between 4,500 and 5,000 scans, Matterport scans. Uh, in the five, six, five and a half years, or how many years it is we've been scanning. So let's say it'd be four or five years, I want to say 2016. Is that, right. Is that, is that correct? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. yeah. Um, what kinds of, of other things did you do for from a business development standpoint that worked out super well for you? Anytime that I can get in front of faces. We do well, and that includes real estate uh, expos. We buy booths. We show our stuff. We talk to people face-to-face, -face. Uh, emailing, texting, and all this. Every once in a while, you may get a bite, but when you can get in front of somebody and they can see the passion and, and you explain your work and what you do, we get more business from that than anything we've ever done, uh, bar none. And, uh, and what kinds of shows have you done? Are they, have they been targeted to real estate agents to? Yes. Yes. Real estate agents for the most so, part. And have you done any shows that have been targeted to build builders or? No. <laughs> oh, well, we used to, we, we belonged to the homeowners association here for about two or three years. And we did talk to them and we do a lot of home builders. Yes. We do shoot a lot of, I got an order today for like 10 houses for a home builder, new, new homes. So, Congratulations. Uh, but that's, t we, we get that all the time. Oh, that's uh, awesome. Okay. You can do, you can do what I, what my wife does is she just kicks me under the table to kind of <laughs> like correct me or something. So you can, <laughs> I you guess can, you saw the eye roll. Pardon? I guess you saw the eye roll. The, no. the eye roll. He's saying, "Oh, I, we never, we haven't done any commercial builders." Well, uh, yeah, we, we, uh, we're just blessed. That's all I can say is uh, we have, we work our rear ends off, but it is, it is paid off. And I, there's nothing that takes the place of hard work. It's, it's the number one thing to do. So you, you, when you get a client. You, you're obsessed about the doing it right, delivery. I get that. But how do you get those first clients? So what, what are some of the other things that have worked for developing new business, either in a, a category or a client that, that, that you, uh, this is commercial. Uh, I mean, that, that's working for you. And it, it sounds like you want to really ratchet that up. 
what else have you done in in the commercial real estate space for business well, development that's worked? To be honest, the, the the names I have mentioned already, the things that uh, we they keep us so busy, we don't have time to to really go out and try to get any more. Uh, I'm serious when I say this, and that's why the the need is there uh, for people that want to get involved. Uh, now, it sometimes it takes a little time and a little money, but you you got to believe in yourself. If you believe in yourself, that's 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 number one. So I I, I think what I heard was four things. First was adopt adaptive property solutions. Adaptive property solutions. If the provision solutions, which were, it sounds like two, we had referred, we, we get around network and right. referred those two to you, uh, and Matterport Capture Services. That's true. And uh, has there been, and, and so that's kind of like three, or maybe if you had, we get around network is having uh, introduced two. I, I guess that the key thing there is, you, you got the business and it's long-term ongoing business. It's not a, a one-off project. Yes. I, uh, I could imagine that you have other commercial real estate clients without necessarily naming names. I'm just trying to wonder how you got there. Are they calling you? Are they finding you? Is what, What's working for you? Well, we've done so much Matterport work that they if they search for Matterport in this area, our name is fills up the first page. Um, and we haven't bought any SEO services from anybody. It's just, we just that do that much. And name is passed around. Uh, people that we don't even shoot for anymore are still passing our name around. Uh, we, we get calls every day from people that do that. Uh, and the, as I said, the builders, uh, we get remodelers. I just got a call. Uh, we just picked up a, um, uh, a company out of Kansas city that buys houses all over the Southeast and remodels and rents or sells. You, you, you're familiar with that. And they're going to be doing 20 a month. And they call us, they got our name off of a search. And because we do so much and we put a lot out as you know, you, cause you've been on the Facebook page. We do, a, we put all of our stuff out on Facebook. We put it out on LinkedIn and Twitter and, so we do a lot of that and it's, it's, it's working too. Yes. That that's me stalking you on, uh, on Facebook. I know. Um, what, what kinds of things have you tried that have not worked for you? What kinds of things have you tried for business development? And it was like, well, that didn't work for us. Well, uh, generally the things that where we can't get in front of somebody, and that to me is the relationship part of it. We develop all these people that we're talking about now have become friends. All these people, the names that we, that I mentioned to you before we started, we, I mean, we know them, we've met them we, we, on a personal level and we spent time with them. So it, that's develops. And once you do that and, and we get in front of them, then we can pick them up. Once again, it's the ones where the emails and the text messages and all that, it just, I just don't have a good feel for it. It just doesn't work as well. Well, it, it's a challenge. We've had the pandemic. I presume you couldn't get in front of a lot of people and no one likes the benefit from a pandemic, but did, did that, did COVID fill your sale with all of a sudden? No, didn't matter one way or the we, other. We got, we got busier. You got busier. And Yes. And Matterport's increased. Yes. Because yes. people were showing houses and people were not going to look at houses, yet houses were selling. So it was because of Matterport. So, so COVID has actually generated business, even though it perhaps didn't generate face-to-face -face conversations for new business development. Uh, somehow everybody coped and said, hey, we, we need this and yes. engaged you to, to be shooting. Yes, yes, absolutely. Yeah. Um, uh, before I ask a little bit about husband and, and, and wife running a business together, uh, are there either any additional tips that, that you want to offer or anything that really is anything else that hasn't worked out that you'd be reluctant to have somebody try? The, 
what, let me say this. I, I, I don't do what other people do. I listen to what people say and I cherry pick their ideas or their concepts. But if you have a goal that's a mile away and you have 14 roads to get there, but they all get to the goal, you do it your way. Uh, too many people try to do it. They listen to all these things and they try to do it somebody else's way and they can't. They need to get what makes them feel comfortable and they can always make it. Just don't give up. Keep working and you'll get there. If you work hard and you're honest, you'll get there and do good work, obviously. Then you'll always get there and you'll do well in the long run. Awesome. Husband and wife running a business together. How does that work out? How, how do you, does it work? And if so, how do you make it work? And what are the trials or tribulations of, of being husband and wife, president, vice president? <laughs> Roger sets unrealistic goals, but that's who he is. He is goal oriented and he thinks, okay, this is going to take 23 minutes and it will take you 10 minutes to get there and 10 minutes to get to the next place. And he's, he's got that schedule in his mind and he thinks, oh, yes, you can do 10. But, but wait, it took 20 minutes because there was a train or because anyway, he sometimes he sets unrealistic goals and we discuss that. But really, I think we work pretty well together. We do. She has. This lady right here is um, knows the Matterport and the BLK as well as anybody you'll ever meet. Um, she has she's a bulldog. She gets in there and it, she won't let it beat her. Uh, the BLK is a is a different animal and it's something you have to learn. And using the capture app is nothing like using their their Field 360 app. I mean, you have to build the the model yourself. And she knows how to do it. She is, she has worked hard at it. And I've had people tell her that she she's as good as anybody they've seen. I may have shed a tear or two in the process. <laughs> so, so yes. Yeah, so she does that very well. She, uh, and then when I mess up doing what I do, then she tells me I mess up and we discuss it. And I say, yes, dear. <laughs> Is there some kind of division of labor where uh, Kay is the authority on scanning <laughs> and Roger's the yes. authority on telling you to scan? I don't, you know, how, how do you, how do you, how do you divide up who's responsible for what and, and still uh, smile at the end of the day? The, the photography part of it uh, and the drone part of it uh, is primarily mine. She, she has to say so as far as Matterport and be okay. Um, and we do whatever we each of us need to do to support the other, uh, because sometimes she'll be real busy and, and I'll do whatever I can to help and vice versa. So, so, uh, I think what I'm hearing is Kay, you're really responsible as the go-to for, uh, scanning, whether it's Matterport or BLK 360, Roger, you are photos, aerial video. Is that what I'm hearing? That's correct. And probably business development. Marketing, yes. Marketing, yeah. But, uh, by the way, which which drones are you using today or planning to get? DJI. Which ones? Pro 2. Uh, Mavic, Mavic. Mavic Pro 2. Okay. And um, and you have a backup? We have, uh, we have uh, I think we have four. Four. Here in our house. We have... We have two more other than that, so we have six. Yes, I fly the drone too. I have my own. Ah, okay, awesome. Uh, uh, that's terrific. Um, uh, are there are, uh, be before we uh, we say bye? Are there any other tips or parting thoughts that you, you would say? Oh, I'm a. Ma this is what I would say to a Matterport service provider to help them succeed faster. Well, I think one of the things is they need to be involved with other people in the business. We, we reach out to other people just like Kevin Dole. Um, and I saw him first on your show and that's what mm -hmm. 
So Kevin Dahl, the second three D dot US uh, in the greater correct. Los Angeles area. Yeah, that's correct. And uh, I would suggest if people have not, I would suggest they join WGAN because it is a great place not only to meet the people, but to get a lot of great information and a lot of times to solve problems that you can't solve on your own. So it has been great for us and we appreciated everything that you've been able to provide and that you provide for everybody. Uh, I tried to remember this. I, I'm sorry, Kay, you were saying? Be, before the show today, I tried to remember the question that I read two or three days ago on the forum. That gave, I didn't need the answer, but I read through the answers anyway, just because I thought, oh, I've had that question before, but I already know my own answer. And as I read through some of the whiz guys that are so nice to, to provide answers to the newbies, um, I learned a couple things and I said, wow, I, I had not thought about it that way before. And I'm sorry that I don't remember which question it was. But um, anyway, I still learn a lot of things from all of your wonderful members members um, that, are, that are so kind to help others and provide answers. Yeah, I, I, thank you. I, you know, I started the, the We Get Around Network forum, WGANforum.com in July of, uh, in August of 2014. And, uh, you know, it's amazing that today there are uh, 83,500 plus posts among nearly 14,000 topics. That's a lot of giving and getting help. And I, and uh, uh and, and I and I also think it's 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 uh, it's turned in as you said into some some relationships. Isn't that isn't isn't that nice? Uh, you know, which is. is turned into to maybe to business. It's turned into some relationships. It's probably also helped you if you ever had a problem or a challenge where you could get an answer quickly from someone else who probably already had that problem or challenge happen. Oh yes, I've used it as you know. And I, I've called in a panic. Yeah, and, and Kevin Dole, the uh, reason I got involved with Kevin was because of WP3D. Uh, he got WP3D me... WP3D WordPress plugin, right? Uh, and, uh, 3D and 3D Vista. And 3D Vista also. Mm -hmm. So And he gave us a lot of good information, and we've shared information about other things with him that he needed information on. So it's been a two-way street. Uh, and he's, a, he's a really a great guy, as you know, so... So it, 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 I think one of the tips you're suggesting there is, is wow, there's the, I think there's a few right there. One is uh, get engaged in the We Get Around Network forum, join the We Get Around Network, uh, uh, add third-party solutions as a way to help differentiate yourself and provide better service to clients by using additional tools that play nice with Matterport or BLK360. Mm -hmm. You mentioned just two of them, 3D Vista, uh, software platform and uh, WP3D models, WordPress plugin. Do, do you recall right. any other third-party tools, solutions that you're also using? Uh, no, not that you actually offer. We've got one or two, but it's nothing we do much with anymore. Just those two for the most part. Okay. All right. That's cool. You can get uh, lost. You can actually get lost. And you've got so many neat things out there. But do you know how much time it would take to learn all that stuff? Uh, that's the only problem. It's just there's just not enough time in the day. Yes, uh, I actually read all the posts in the forum, so that actually consumes a lot of my time. Just uh, yes, you up. answer every one of them too. Yeah, and we appreciate you for that. Thank, thank you. Uh, um, you know, I just always it, it's just an interesting thing. I just always think, uh, you know, I. I'm, and I'm sure you're probably like this. You don't sit out thinking about, oh, what can I get from somebody else? It's like, oh, how can I help somebody else? I mean, that's really why you're on the show today is, uh, is giving back to others in the community. And I, I just find, you know, it, the more I give, actually, the more things that just happen as a result of that. That's uh, true. You know, so how exciting that, you know, today I actually make a, a living from a free forum. Uh, you know, how is that possible? But it is. And, and, and that was all for me just started by uh, going out, doing a lot of scans and posting about uh, what I was learning, problems I was having. And then all of a sudden people um, chiming in on, on solutions. 
Yeah. Right. Right. So, uh, Kay, you, how about you get the last word? A any other uh, tip that you want to offer to the uh, We Get Around Network community about how to succeed faster with either Matterport or BLK360? <laughs> I think we said it all. We, we covered a lot. Uh, Kay, Roger, thanks for being on the show today. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you, Dan. We appreciate you. God bless. Thank you. We've been visiting with Roger Owens, president of RKO Photography, and his wife, Kay Owens, the vice president of RKO Photography. Uh, RKO Photography is at rko.photography. Uh, they're based in the greater Birmingham area with a satellite office in Tulsa, and it sounds like doing a lot of other nearby states as well. So for Roger and Kay, I'm Dan Smigbride, founder of the We Get Around Network Forum, and you've been watching WGAN-TV Live at 5. How about a little thumbnail here, Roger? Okay, thumbs up. Uh, Roger, you're blocking your face.